This is Marion University in Silla College, home of the Chargers. This year we're going to be taking you through the offseason leading up to the regular season. Behind the scenes of our Juco Bandit squad. So make sure to enjoy the video, enjoy everything, and check out our social media pages. Let's get to it. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm going to restart this little vlog series thingy that I started in high school. Um, had a pretty good successful season, so it was cool for everybody to see all the work that built up to us uh, uh, winning regionals and going to semi-state. But I think it would be cool to get the college perspective behind everything, get to meet the team and see all the behind the scenes heading into a 56 game season. Uh, really excited uh, get to meet coach Kirk this year um, and all the new teammates and we just get to see how it goes you get to see all the people back home follow along with me so it's gonna be pretty cool alrighty we're here with Austin here freshman catcher he's playing NCAA 14 Florida Gators we got the Xbox 360 up in this so you know we gotta bring back the games so we're, we're, we're pretty much grinding with our guys I just took my Xbox, put it in his room because I knew how much he loves this game, and I'll just play it whenever. Because he's such a good friend, you know? Oh, yeah. Great exactly. teammate. Great teammate. You ready to hit the gym? I am ready to hit the gym. I got to do, I can do my homework assignment after because gym is more important than school. Yeah. What's, uh, what is today? Back day? Yeah, today is back. We're going to get shredded and do a little lap spreads stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you can cuss. I'll just bleep it out. <laughs> but... Any more questions for me today, j -Fiff? I just think it's weird you saying my full name. I got to sound professional on the vlog. Oh, know. yeah. It's very professional. We got Zach Thompson. My bum of a roommate. Yeah. If you look over there, that's his side of the room. It it's an bad. absolute mess. Austin's yeah. side of the room. Look Always at that. So neat. He's Bro, been sick for the last That's no <laughs> you no. Know, you know for a dang fact that that's what it looks like all the time. That ain't true. He bro. used to be on the team, but he decided to continue somewhere else. He I'm becoming a uh, professional gamer for uh, yeah. Modern Warfare. And he can't get over a .5 KD, so that gaming is not going to work out in his life. Yeah, he's he's kind of bad, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty bad. Dude, it's like <laughs> focusing. It's focusing on that mess right there. Like, I see the camera going crazy, just like <laughs> trying to understand that. It's like... Bro, you, you can't talk with your room. Hey, my room's clean right now. I cleaned it up. I can't believe Zach cleaned the room not early. So Zach was a part of the Centerville baseball team that ended the Lint Miners season. <laughs> at least you didn't get demolished by Eliana. At least you made it to state, but <laughs> it's whatever. I mean, at least you told your best friend you were going to come play. All right, we're here with Austin, Austin's girlfriend, Chloe. She's crumbling under pressure. Um, uh, Chloe, what do you expect from Austin's upcoming season? He's going to be an All-American. That's all I got to say. That's all she's got to say. We're here with uh, freshman shortstop, Connor Boone. So, Connor, what's your expectations for this upcoming season? Expectations for this upcoming season. So, we've definitely lost a lot of guys already. Uh, we got a new coach in, which he's got a good philosophy for us. Uh, he's got a good plan. He's trying to do the best for us that he can, help us out the most. I'm thinking we're going to have a pretty good year. We had a good fall. Um, ended up going 5-1 and one in the fall, which was pretty big. Uh, played some conference schools. Uh, got the dub over them. Obviously, we don't know if we saw their best. Um, but coming into the season, I think we got a lot of young talent that – if some of the, those guys come back next year with the year of experience, I feel like we're going to be really good. Uh, for this year, though, I mean, it's just play the small game, man. Go out there, do our thing. Um, be able to execute when it's needed to be executed. Uh, looking to have a good year, though. Hopefully all these guys can get together and we'll figure it out and make something that Ancilla has never seen before. What's your expectations for yourself this year? Any goals? Expectations for myself. Um... Obviously, I want to improve each year, so 
why not set the standards as high, high as I can, man. Um, the goal is not to have many errors at all this year. Uh, have a pretty good batting average. Hopefully we're in the 300 to 400 range. Uh, that'd be my goal for this year. And then obviously next year, come back and improve on those and have a really good season with the boys. Connor Boone. Yes, sir. And me and Boone going to get some field work done. Gotta go unload the mat real quick, or the mound. Pick up a mat, bring it back. Now we can get some BP in the day, get some field work in. Gonna be feeling good. It's uh, 40 Man. degrees out, but we're good right now. We're chilling. It's a bit of a bumpy ride, eh? <laughs> now it's time to follow the boom mobile. to the life of a Juco baseball player, baby. It ain't quite riding the thing with Craig. But it'll do, there's the field. Man, it's cold out. Best way to fold something up. This is the least efficient thing I've ever seen. What is? Here with Coach Kirk Cabana. Kirk, how'd you feel about practice today? Uh, man, November 28th, and you guys are telling me that we get to be outside? This might as well be California the way that I feel. What's your expectations for the upcoming year? Dude, the expectations for the year are that we're going to have a group of dudes that are going to go to battle together. And uh, my expectations for the year are, are very simple from a small standpoint. We are going to break the all-time wins record of this school. Now, that's only 15. It's not asking for a bunch, but that's our first goal and that's what we're going to do together got any personal goals for yourself Whew, get that first win as a coach i mean you know, that'll be a nice one for sure um but no realistically um man goals as a coach would be to get these four sophomores out to four-year schools i'll do my job if i do that awesome thank you coach. all righty so we're just through practice um one much anything we got just some uh guys got some bp in as a po i just shagged balls and then did some field work uh, pretty good day though. Got to see some guys swing the barrel pretty good. So pretty happy with that. Hoping to get some run support, you know. So I'm always happy to see the boys doing good. We're at dinner right now. Just after a successful day of practice. We're not eating very good, but it's good enough, you know. Nutritious body. I feel like we're eating pretty good. How do you feel, boo? We got the cheese pizza. We got like the half-assed spaghetti. My beefaroni. Um, it's not bad. I mean, the pizza's decent here. Had a good practice today, so we got to nourish the body and um, help it stay healthy. How do you feel, mailman? We have mailman who gives team hugs. I'm great. The best hugger on the team, bro. How do you feel, Sadiq? Pretty good. How do you feel about dinner? Man of many words. You eating good today, Sadiq? Hey, James. Like, never mind, I can't put that in if you say it. How do you feel about practice today, Garrett? Felt pretty good. Talking with his food in his mouth. Hey, Kev. Wait, where's this going? <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. Wait, what did you say, Hi, we're here with uh, Nicolas Ramon Avila Andrade Adame um, and his translator. Um, uh, how did you feel about practice today? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That's all. That's all. He said he doesn't know. It was pretty boring. Other than that, yeah. Um, uh, what, are your ex what are your expectations for the year? Uh, me voy a jugar muy bien. Y todo mi equipo, todo. todo. Está bien. He said he hopes to get. But, bien. Muy bien. Gracias, gracias, amigo. Gracias. De nada, amigo. Guys, welcome back. 
We're now at Planet Fitness, the home of the boys. Uh, this is where we come, get our pump in. We like to get big on the weekdays. We usually come late though, so people aren't here. But we're here getting big. Stern with the lap pull down. Let's get the boo. Get the angles on boo. Okay, Stern. Boo, what do you think of Stern so far? Good dude, he good buddy. Putting us through these good workouts, getting yoked. It's a good time. Is there our update from the gym? <laughs> gotta get big. Yeah, gotta start getting get big. big to throw hard. Yeah, gotta gotta throw hard to throw hard. That's the advice. That's the advice Stern ever gave me. But in order to throw hard, you also gotta hit the gym. I was doing like 30 pull-ups right now, like it's nothing. Kid's an animal. Yeah, he's doing oh, muscle. Oh, he's not time. even doing pull-ups, he's I doing muscle. muscle. All right, boys, how'd you feel about the gym? I felt like I got pretty swole. Yeah. I think it was about? a very solid pump. We got a lot of good work in, a lot of good movements. We did some big weights today. Um, felt great, can't complain at all. I love when people drive toaster cars. Personally, I've had a great time. Cause I was with my buddies. I had a great time. Yeah, that, was, that was a really good pump. I'll tell you what, Planet Fitness, that's the place to go. Sponsor me. Alrighty, that's gonna conclude tonight. Got my roommate playing COD. I gotta hurry this up because he swears a lot. Alright, thanks for watching. Thanks everybody for watching again. Uh, check out all the MUAC social media pages and our quote of the day is from the show Ted Lasso. Be curious, not judgmental. Have a good night.